What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video. This time it is our boy DSP on his pre-stream podcast. And oh my lord, he doesn't think when he speaks. So apparently our boy is getting chargebacks, uh, which I doubt, but whatever. Let's 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 believe what he's saying. He's getting chargebacks. And he actually talks about why they're charging it back. And the interesting thing is what he actually says. Let's get into it, folks videos got age restricted then i got the false copyright strikes well guess what happened overnight chargebacks the good news is it's not for people yet crying emojis in the chat pms to the streams and we're very supportive we're real but i just got a bunch of chargebacks from people about uh, in the last like two weeks or so <clears throat> and here's the thing here's how they work all right they charge back and does it say something legit like oh this was a stolen credit card and you know I really need to get my money back. No, I'm not even kidding. This is one of the messages. In a nutshell, I'm going to paraphrase it. Here's the, the chargeback message. Oh, well, I wanted to support this streamer, but then I saw a negative video about them about the internet saying that they gamble all their money away in WWE Champions. I'm not kidding. They fucking said this in the chargeback message to PayPal. Which is what you do. Okay. I saw a negative video about the guy saying he gambles in WWE Champions, and I don't support that, so I want my money back. That's not how it works, stupid. What? What are you talking about? How dumb can you be? That is not how it works. When you contribute to someone via PayPal, alright? That is a transaction, a financial transaction that has protections in place, alright? Notice what he didn't say. Notice that he didn't say, that's a lie. I'm not spending my money on WWE Champions. What he wants to focus on is, you can't have your money back because you gave me that money. Not, oh, that what that person is saying is wrong. I don't spend it on WWE Champions. You notice that little slip up? And he's going to keep talking. And not once does he say, that person's crazy. That's a lie. I don't spend on WWE Champions. So our boy Phil is just slipping up. He just wants to look at it as a business transaction. And God forbid you ask him what he's doing with that money. And we all know what he's doing. WWE Champions. There are situations where that can be reversed. For example, if someone actually broke the law by stealing someone's credit card or financial information and did a falsified <laughs> transaction in their name, and if that can be legally proven with PayPal, then you can get your money back. I told you guys about this several years ago. Um, there was someone who over the course of six months was buying stolen credit card numbers off the dark web, coming to my PayPal and every day doing fake tips over and over and over. And this amounted to a ginormous amount of chargebacks, which hurt my channel a lot, okay? So it can happen. But in this case, if you willingly contribute, all right? Seriously, if you willingly contribute to any content creator on the internet via PayPal, you have no right to charge it back at all. You already gave that contribution, and you know what I'm saying? Like That is a lie. You have uh, several options and several reasons to be able to charge back any action that you uh you know uh, uh whether you do a super chat or a tip or whatever you do have legal recourse to get your money back there, you can't oh i changed my mind later and i want my money back that's not how it works that's not life that's not the law that's not how any of this works and you're an idiot notice how he still hasn't said i didn't spend my money on wwe champions so yeah and and so just to clarify yesterday was a very great support day Okay, it was. Yesterday was a really good support day. Then I get chargebacks for hundreds of dollars. So yesterday was great, and then a whole chunk of that was negated overnight by chargebacks. Okay? Now, hopefully I win the chargebacks. I don't know if I will. The problem is it takes a while. That Didn't you just say right now that a second ago that w what they were doing is wrong, illegal, and it doesn't work that way? Now you're saying... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to win those chargeback disputes, which is a pimp. You always you always talk out of both sides of your mouth. We all know you can anyone can charge back anything. 
whether it's a good or a service or whatever. And they don't even have to do that. They can just call their uh, their credit card company they did with a credit card and file a dispute and get the money back and avoid PayPal altogether or YouTube or whatever. Money, when those are charged back, is on hold. So yesterday, oh, Phil did really good. He made all this good extra income to help him out with the situation. Oh, guess what? It's it, Half of it's frozen. And I can't do anything with it. He made $700. Now he's telling me that $350, uh, 350 that is on hold because of chargebacks. Really? Really, Phil? So I, I, I basically fight this whole thing. To me, it sounds like he just wanted to gin up some more support. Quote, unquote, support. And wanted another day of more tips so he can play WWE Champions. This all sounds like a scam and a lie. And I try to beat the thing. Just stupid. And it's annoying. And it's, you know, now what I got to do is I got to respond and I got to give all the information. Here's where the person tipped. Here's what they said when they tipped. Here's my stream. Here's how it worked. It's non-refundable, blah, blah, blah. And I got to keep going through all this shit and fight with it, all right? You know? <clears throat> but that's the thing. You can't give and then change your mind. What you can do is say, okay. Yes, you can. Stop. Maybe, maybe someone out there is very gullible. And they look at all the detractor shit about me and they say, okay, I don't like Phil anymore. Fine, move on. Move on. Be an intelligent person, be a mature adult or whatever. Move on. And uh, thanks for the time that you were here and for the support you gave, but have a nice life. That's my attitude. But then they go back and say, okay, instead of moving on, <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge all my contributions. I'm going to slander Phil at every moment I can. I'm going to try to attack Phil and join in on, on the, the, the fucked up stuff. That's it. Where do you get that? Where does it go from? He went from, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 1,722. He went from a guy submitting chargebacks to them slandering him, them being detractors. Where do you get all that information from, Phil? It's just someone doing a chargeback because they feel like, for whatever reason, the reason you said earlier was because you spend your money on WW Champions and they don't want to support that gambling habit. How do you get from one point to another? Where's the in-between, right? I just don't understand that, right? But, so yeah, so this sucks because yesterday I got a ton of support and here I am like, wow, this is going to help, especially if the channel gets shut down. And by the way, this right here is going to hurt a lot next month. When it comes time when I usually get paid by YouTube, my monthly income from YouTube, usually I have about one to 200 more members and I don't have that this month because of everything going on. I, I strongly doubt we're gonna see any kind of an increase in members in the next week. It's gonna be people are gonna feel more apprehensive. They're gonna be like, oh, you know, I, you know, I don't know if I wanna become a member but if the channel gets shut down temporarily, by the way, don't worry. No matter what, I will, I will definitely, all right, I will definitely say this to all of you. Rest assured, no matter what happens to DSP Gaming, the channel's coming back. Okay? You notice he didn't say, rest assured, I don't spend my money on WWE Champions. He did not say that not once in this whole video. This channel's been on YouTube for 14, excuse me, over 12 years. I've been on YouTube for over 14, but this channel itself has been here for over 12 years. It doesn't matter what false shit they hit me with. Alright? I'm coming back. All right, it doesn't matter if this channel gets suspended, it's going to be back. These false strikes will be removed, and I will be back. It's just a matter of getting my cat's tail out of my mouth and putting up with the bullshit in the meantime, you know? And I apologize that we have to put up with the bullshit. I don't like that, right? So this kind of sucks because yesterday was like, oh, good, rallying of support. This is excellent, right? And I'm like, oh, I can stream today. No ne other negative stuff at the channel. Oh, half of yesterday has been negated by chargebacks. That's great, right? It doesn't matter, so, Phil. You just yeah, said you're going to win best. anyway, right? And, uh, I'll do my best. I'll try to get those fought. But the thing is, it can take weeks to get that cleared up. And Yeah, we know. You need that WWE money, money right away. I do. So, it is what it is. All right? Um, that's all I'm going to say. You know? I, I don't want the fact that these people are messing with me to be any reason why you guys would say oh i want to contribute more now or anything like that and i mean that if you guys want to help and there you go folks that's what all this was about this was about getting ginning up another day of huge tips and money for phil so that he can go and play wwe champions again like he did last night
help out and support this channel. Being a nut today. If you guys want to help out and support this channel, great. Thank you so much. Right? But I don't want this to be like some kind of a fucking sob story. And you hear this going on, you're like, oh, no. The last, your, your last six years has been a sob story, Phil. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't want you to, uh... I don't want you to take this as me asking for anything, because I'm not, all right? I'm not. If you want to support, by all means, please do. Yes, absolutely. Support today would help me cope for the fact that I just lost half of my support from yesterday. But I'm not asking for nothing. If you want to do it, thank you in advance. Um, you know, the positivity yesterday was amazing. Um, but, you know... I, I'm not. I'm not going to make this again. Some some other person might turn that into. Oh now, rally, rally everyone, rally to support. I'm not doing that. All right, support because you like the content. What a clown! You just did it, you goddamn clown. Good lord! All right, that that's it. I I can't take any more of this asshole. He's just ridiculous, and everyone can see through his bull. Everyone can see through it. He did this little segment. I thought there were any chargebacks, but he did this little segment. So that he can rally another second day of huge support so that he can feed his gambling addiction and his gin addiction. Everyone knows this, Phil, and nothing you say will ever change my mind. Hope you guys liked the video. Peace out.